Feel Good Friday. I'm Marissa Daly, and what better way to celebrate a new weekend than to visit our furry friends at Frying Pan Farm Park. Hi everybody, I'm Yvonne Johnson. I'm the manager here at Frying Pan Farm Park in Herndon, Virginia. It's one of the last working farms in Fairfax County and we love having company. Parks open every day from dawn to dusk and the farm itself is open from nine to five. One of the most common questions we get is how much does it cost to come visit Frying Pan Park? And the wonderful answer is it's free. So March through November, you can get wagon rides and carousel rides here at Frying Pan Park. Those are a fee and you can sign up for those online on our website. So you can schedule that ahead of time. So there's always something different happening in Frying Pan. You can see the crops growing in the field and the seasons change, the days change. It's a wonderful place to come out and have time together with the family. So of course, one of our most popular attractions is our farm animals. We have all kinds and we have a lot of them. We take specialized staff to take care of them. So now we're here a little bit from our farmer, Paul Nicholson. My name is uh, Paul Nicholson. I'm the uh, farm manager here at Frying Pan Farm Park. We would love for you guys to come visit us and the best thing about Frying Pan is that we're always changing. In the spring, we usually have a ton of babies, lots of baby pigs, that's always everybody's favorite. But like I say, there's gonna be always calves, goats, baby lambs. Sometimes we hatch baby chicks and turkeys. So like I say, it's always exciting. The summer, everything is kind of growing, so there's not usually many things born. But wait, more pigs are coming in the fall. And so that gets exciting again. Even this year, we've had almost 70 baby pigs born. You know, like I say, every year, we usually get around that many. And the best thing, you can come in April, and if you see a pig that weighs, say, 10 pounds, come back in October, that pig will weigh 300 pounds. So it's really cool to see everything grow up. And then we also have the, the open space out here, so we have crops growing. We usually the corn gets planted in May, and then we harvest it come November. So again, you get to see life cycle, you get to see everything growing and changing, and it's just, like I say, it's fun to be in an open environment. Here at Frying Pan Farm Park, our COVID procedures are pretty simple. We ask that you uh, maintain six foot social distancing while you visit the farm and the animals, and we follow the governor's guidelines. So although a mask is not required in the farmyard, many of our visitors choose to wear one because it can get a little busy in the farmyard. And sometimes our younger visitors especially don't do as well with social distancing as some of our more grown up ones. So that's all up to you at whatever your comfort level is. And if part of the park is feeling a little too crowded for you, the good news is the whole facility is 135 acres, so there's plenty of space to spread out. You can go um, hike the nature trail or take a walk in one of our fields. There's picnic tables that you can use. The playgrounds are open, but those are not cleaned on a regular basis. And if you do pet our farm animals, just keep in mind that every other person before you probably pet them too. So hand sanitizer is a good idea, and we do have a hand wash station here in the farmyard. So whether you're visiting from far away or you're one of our local guests, we look forward to having you here at Frying Pan Farm Park. Every day is different and it's a great way to spend time with the family and make memories. <laughs>